Hello everyone, this is Katarina and I'll share with you the Ascension news for this week with the solstice. Oh my god, it's so, so amplified, magnified. I, I was really, really stunned. On Sunday I was in the biggest stone circle here in my area, Long Meg and her daughters, and I was pouring down with rain for four hours, <laughs> surrounded by cows. I'm like, okay, I'm here. I prepared everything. What is it that I'm meant to be doing? And the guides were, all right, we are opening a portal, be vigilant and work with it all. And then all of a sudden it triggered through. It's like, oh my God, we are now opening the new ascension portals that are holding the much higher incoming frequencies with the aurora <laughs> aurora borealis we had in may that was worldwide that was the beginning of the um how do you say that the anchoring of that much higher light into our structure and the metatron's cube is now being anchored as a light structure all around the earth and there are new ascension portals opening up where um, the receptivity for these higher advanced frequencies is much higher on earth and that's not necessarily what we know of as the seven world chakras or ascension or gateways and portals we already have so some may overlap but there are new ones as well and i'm really really excited so on friday in the solstice activation we will connect with these new ascension portals we will ignite them together which will enhance your personal power as well as your well-being it gives a boost to your entire system and it also and that's just coming in now anchors you firmly in the new earth because these new frequencies are much more subtle and refined. On Friday <laughs> in sunshine at that time, I was um, there for four or five hours um, at the other stone circle near the Hadrian Wall and the sun was shining, strong winds, and I could tap into nature. The animals were connecting with me. I will share a video about that as well on Facebook before Friday. and. It was really like, guys, what's going on? I really enjoy this. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful energy. What's happening? And they're like, wait, you know, and I'm like, OK, zooming in. And then it was really finding that deep inner still point, that breathing, connecting. I'm here. What's happening? And it's like, you know, when you have um, a radio station and you have a um, a broadcast from somewhere that's far away where you you know in the older days you really had to find zoom where that is today we have a search function and we are now developing that inner search function in our system to tap into that new frequency range and again on friday in these sorts of activations you will get a big boost of that energy and it is also rejuvenating nourishing well-being and the guide said they know what highs and lows we are going through and i'll talk about that in a minute and they all agreed upon everyone who's participating we receive this big dose of grace you know they know as a forerunner as a star seed um as a light worker as an earth wisdom keeper a star wisdom keeper we are sometimes stretched beyond measure and like oh my god one more step and i snap <laughs> you know that rubber band isn't infinite at least not now and they're like yeah well, we get it you know we get how much you're working through all of this we can also sense the collective swings and that is now with that huge acceleration of the ascension of earth because the planet the physical structure of earth now is actually starting to ascend that means um the energy that's coming in is now transforming the cellular structure of everything on the planet and it is um it is, they, they always say it's like from carbon based to crystalline, but it is like having coal that's now turning into diamond. And the process of diamondization, if you like, has now started. You know, we brought in the diamond ray, um, diamond rainbow ray frequencies, and we will get another big hit of that in July. And um, with that, the transformation of the earth is taking place and that also changes our entire system so the collective is swinging back and forth old and new and you in your personal life may also feel that um 
magnetic pull into the old, into old themes, people, situations, you know, old thought patterns as well. <laughs> and, you know, me shifting the house um, in preparation for Friday and knowing, oh my God, I had this huge day in Durham in the cathedral. Then on Friday, the big stone circle or one stone circle on Sunday, the big stone circle. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, I can do this. You know, I can break through all of them and bring these codes in so I can present them on Friday. Friday to you, I can share them and make them much more easier accessible. And I could literally feel this sticky energy in the house of the old, whereas I was already tapping into the new. And it's like, oh my God, it's like sometimes like oil and water don't mix. And I was like, shit, how, how do I turn this around? <laughs> the kitties playing along and we had rain after rain after rain in June, June. You know, I have the heating still on. It's like, oh my God, this is another second summer of no sun. It's like, yes. You know, we can do this. And, you know, when we feel that um, magnetic pull and it feels like, oh, my God, this is not the most easiest to shift into something new. And then I felt like, all right, put some music on that I normally don't listen to, just something completely random, completely different. And I was amazed how how much music I could find on Instagram. It's just one post and I thought I'd distract myself. And then, oh, my God, that's nice. And I played it. And then, you know, you can use the audio in order all of a sudden I was on a whole new trail of frequencies and it was upbeat enough to shift those energies and every time when we feel like oh my god and you know and this leads to that and you know when we tap into the future based upon the past it's like um breathe it's like whoa I'm here right now and then reset and rewrite you know the breathing helps us with the resetting it's like calming down who am I? What is the new frequency like? Where would I like to go? Where is Earth headed? Ascension process has started. I'm releasing the old. That's what's taking place. Um, you know, and you may even want to listen to light language, mine or somebody else's, whatever resonates within you to make that quick shift and that quick adjustment from you know, back into alignment. So those intense highs and intense lows are part of that collective energy and our personal one again on Friday. The guides with a dose of grace, also the activation of the eye of Ra, that is the um, right eye that connects with the solar consciousness. And we align that with the 12 central suns that will also then correspond to the 12 new ascension portals. Now I'm getting the picture. <laughs> they told me I will unravel this. I didn't know I would unravel it at 7.44 in the video. That connection is finally made. So maybe my brain is now catching up with those higher frequencies too. And um, with that... Um, we have much more access because when your eyes and we do the other eye, the left eye, the eye of Horus in the lunar energy on in July and with the attunement of our eyes to these new higher frequencies, it's much easier. It's like they're saying your psychic antenna, your pineal gland is then hardwired into this new frequency. So you're not fiddling with the dial. It's like Da, 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 and download, you know, like operator, <laughs> please bring on the following. And that is part of the, when you are a forerunner, you know, we find new ways, we are creative, we are inquisitive, and we also get a more help because it's like, hey, I'm out here in the storm or the rain or whatever. Um, let's, let's show me a way. I, I'm here, I show up, I do it. Let's get some help here. And that's also something um, the guides want to share, you know, for us on the very forefront of ascension, it's like, whoa, a whole new landscape, you know, it's the explorer. And then our guides also wait till, okay, w w what are they orientating themselves towards? And when we really show up like more than 50%, like 70, 75, I always feel when I've given so much and sometimes Okay, we are getting to the point of exhaustion. It's three and a half hours now. It's really cold and wet. My feet were totally soaked. I could afterwards, when I went to the car and changed into a light pair for driving, I could wring out my socks. <laughs> My feet were so wet and, and I thought, Jesus Christ, I definitely have given it my all to bring this in. Um, 
And that's when the guides step forward and then that shower of grace is happening. So really know that all your efforts are sincerely not in vain. They're recorded, they're seen, they're coming in and you will reap the rewards and benefits from them. And the whales and dolphins are really excited um, because some of these new ascension portals are also linked with the whale and dolphin consciousness underwater. Um, and they're saying they are not the ancient Lemurian or Atlantean structures. It's a different frequency. Um, <laughs> Lord Melchizedek is saying it's a new concoction, you know, it's a new frequency that also needs new energetic um, connections to bring that in. So I'm really excited to share that. And let's see what light language is coming in for you. Um, and you can connect with your heart and may it serve the highest and greatest good. Iwashki kesi si na na maha. Nyaki kesi si ishka kasa sa na maha. Ishka ka na ma sa. Nyaki ki si ishka na maha. Nyaki ki ki ishka ka na na ma sa. Miwi ki ki si si na maha. Miwi ki ki si si na maha. Miwashka sa na i ki si ni a kaka na masa. Nya ki i si ishka na masa. Nya kaka sa sa na na maha. Miwashki i si na maha. Niwa kaka si 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 na na maha. Miwi ki ki si si na na maha. Niash kaka sa sa na na maha. Niash kaka sa 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 na maha. Niya ki ki si si na ha. Iyash ka ka sa sa na na ma ha. Niya ki 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 si 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 na ma ha. Niya ki 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 si si na ma ha. Miwash ka sa na ma ha. Niya ki si na ma ha. Niya ki si na ma. Niya ki sa ash ka ka sa sa na na ma ha. Sa ash ka ka sa sa na na ma ha. Miwi ya na ma sa. Miwi ya na ma sa. Miwa ash ka ka sa sa na na ma ha. Yuwa ki ki, yuwa ki ki, si 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 na na ma ha. Aka, aka, aka. Aka, aka, aka. Blessed it be, so mote it be, and so it is. Wow, it started with the golden solar light beings preparing our structure for the solstice <clears throat> frequency in the golden solar light codes uh, mm, to connect you with the 12 central suns. Um, <laughs> so that was that. Um, then, oh yeah, the sisterhood of the rose came in and it's like, yeah, it's also the time of further awakening and further stepping into your own inner authority, into um, becoming who you are, expressing your uniqueness and the sisterhood of the rose as a collective step forward. And they said, let's help you to open that inner lotus, that increasing of that receptivity. And then these light codes stream in and are held in your structure and also in the flower of life on earth. Um, Lord Magizere came and said, yeah, and I help you part the whales, you know, that it's much easier to clear the fog so you can step into that higher light with more ease. Then Ashtar Kuman comes in and it's like, hey, I'm so excited with that all of you are starting to connect with the galactics more. Thank you for all the messages in the videos and comments as well that you are starting to sense that as well. It makes me so, so happy and the whole team is like glowing with joy. And our Galactic brothers and sisters are also helping us to really stand in that inner sovereignty. And that theme is also increasing leading up to the Lion's Gate. So you may have the first glimpses of it. It's like, oh my God, you know, pull old new. The new is here in alignment. I can trust my inner voice. I'm here all as well. And then the last were the 
Venusians and then the Dove of Peace saying, you know, we help you ignite that new portal and it's 1444 with this angelic, beautiful, heart loving energy of joy, unity, bliss with the well-being of all in mind. And that's also the sisterhood of the rose, you know, the flower of life. Um, where we bring in, and that's okay, and that's the other dial, while the Divine Feminine is awakening the Eye of Ra. So the Eye of Ra, the power, is also the solar energy that's usually associated with the masculine. And now it's awakened through the Divine Feminine, because the Divine Feminine is intrinsically interwoven, you know, as a life giver with the web of life. And if you're male or female, it doesn't matter, but it comes from that inner intuitive Divine feminine frequency where you ignite the new within you from this place of interconnectedness with all life from joy love bliss and beauty with all beings that surround us and may you enjoy this transmission i can't wait to to activate this new ascension network and the new ascension portals with you on friday and may that bring you many many blessings namaste